Uh, so a big one tonight, obviously, for the Cats. They're starting off their second round series How against we the Toronto Maple Leafs. How are we feeling about it? I feel good. God. I feel good. I mean, I know that, that that atmosphere is going to be rocking tonight for sure in Toronto. But uh, anywhere, I mean, these these Canada, these, right? these cats, yeah. But I mean, like, no, they, but definitely for them, yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, they haven't been here in forever. I mean, they're, they're one of the cursed franchises, so they're going to be obviously they're very original fired up. six, right? I think so. Yeah. Yes, they yeah. The original six. six. They used to be royalty, but they have been on a they they've have won a playoff series in forever, so they're going to be obviously juiced up. Mm-hmm. Um, but look, the Panthers have been this hostile and <laughs> dire situation now for this really like even before the playoffs because they were fighting for their damn playoff lives. Right. For the last month, and it is interesting. Like Spo was talking about this too. They where said just... in football, in football, like a wild card sometimes will go yeah. far. Like it happened to your Jets when they went back to back AFC championships. They didn't have great records. They were like nine and seven. One year we were nine and seven. The other year we were eleven and five. Right, but uh, we Spoh... just got caught. We got hot at towards the right end at the season. end. Spo right. was was talking about this yesterday. He goes, I do like there. He was genuinely believing that all of the clutch games that they were in, which even before, like they hit like some of their really frustrating ones, this team, every game was, it was three three to five points. Nerve wracking, nerve wracking to the point where it didn't matter who they were playing. Right. They could have been playing Denver or Orlando. Doesn't matter. With five minutes left, somebody was going to be up or down three. So he was like, just lending voice to the idea of, he does think that's, you know, prepared them for this, but because in the playoffs, when you get into those situations, they're down 16. Nah. They're down 14, man. It's maybe not the best way to live. I don't know. Right. But he thinks that they're just they're just so hardened by everything that they went through this year. And especially, yeah. and the other thing that they are used to, obviously, is the injuries. Because Tyler's out, Vic's out. That's okay. We've dealt with this with Kyle out, with uh with the very with Jimmy being out. Mm-hmm. They have been they've been used to that this year of small rotation, clutch games, which is really what the playoff environment is. Now, yeah, they got Jimmy Butler playing like the best player in the league right now but i do think from the other standpoint you think about all the role guys really hasn't swung that much other than that game two where they got the doors blown off them Mm -hmm. they have been able to show up or somebody a handful of guys have been able to show up every single game and i think that is uh noticeable you got off to this you know this start against the knicks can't you're letting them go by willy-nilly can't shoot a lick and you got all you know ben stiller's there I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, but either way, you got you got this crazy <laughs> MS, MSG's going nuts because you know Obi Toppin's got alley oops going, and they're just like, yeah, whatever, we'll get it going, we'll we'll figure it out. I would say that the thing that playing in all these close games uh, helps with is the grind, right? Yeah. Like this team doesn't get flustered by giving up a ten point lead. They don't get too excited about making up a 10 point deficit. Um and and so they all focus on the task at hand. A lot of people ah. when when oh. my man <laughs> you knew that was coming. Uh, it just happened. No 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 I, no, no, no. I, I did not want you. you you mean we're on the same page. Say it. <laughs> no, I'll never say it again. Uh so when you are in that situation over and over and over again Basically, what you do is you, you stay even keeled because you you've been on both sides of it and you understand, you know, what you need to do in each given situation. Um, I would also say, like, I mean, down the stretch. Who like who had a more difficult task than the Heat? Because you never knew who was playing. You never knew right. who was active. You mm-hmm. never knew who was healthy, who was injured. You had guys that. We're playing 40 minutes. Like, and and so they found a way to get to this point. They're relatively healthy, which is I think what everybody could ask for. Like being banged up. Well, Ky- I think the biggest thing is Kyle. Like, you know, of right. surprises of that. You were like, all right, I don't know what this guy's going to give us because he was he, he was not a, he was not effective in the playoffs last year. No, you know, he was not just, at all. He was banged up. You know, he had that, he had he did a lot of his savvy things in that game six against uh the celtics but you know that that shot that burst that wasn't there in the playoffs last year um but, no obvi- legs. but obviously losing tyler tyler's a huge offensive blow but, but but i would say this that is it terrible to lose offense but gain defense it's a yeah it, it is you, it you is a, it, it is an interesting especially thing. for the heat 
Mm-hmm. Because if Jimmy scoring it's- 56 and 40 and 25 and 30 and Bam is doing double doubles, how many points do you need? You need more importantly to stop the other team. The thing I think it would have been interesting with Tyler, yes, you do lose some defense and and in, and in the playoffs, guys and teams, especially, you know, somebody like Tim, they're going to use that. They would have tried to switch Tyler onto Jalen Brunson every single time. So you don't have that target for sure. But the other thing that it does make tougher, and Jimmy really this hasn't been an issue with him, is Tyler was getting a lot of attention defensively last year too. And what I mean by that is like they're throwing two guys at him. They're trying to trap him. They're trying to make him really uncomfortable because they thought they could frazzle him, which honestly was a very effective thing for him. But mm-hmm. it does open some things up for other people as well when when you're putting that much attention into Tyler Hero. Um, well, I don't know. It's it, I, I it, like it, the Bam move. Yeah, I like they they give the ball to Bam. They're giving it to Caleb Martin. Um, they're, they're, you have a lot of guys who can handle the ball. And they're using that to do pick and rolls and create mismatches with those guys. Well, the other thing, and Jimmy's setting a pick. Yeah, you could already tell though. Like this is, see, without Julius, this was this was very noticeable. But there's not really that body that Bam has to shut down yet against the Knicks. Like there obviously was with the Bucks. Like so with Julius, that will that would change things if he's healthy for sure. Uh, a little bit. I don't think it's quite as dynamic as taking a, as having to slow down to Giannis because here's the problem. The thing that scares me with this and 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 Vlad, this is one of the things that that I would worry about if I'm a Heat fan. Is this? I am afraid of any team that can take Bam out of the paint because you have nobody else. And when you take Bam right. out and run switching, uh, pick and rolls and do stuff like that, it's always Gabe Vincent fighting with wow. his well, that, with his with his face in the middle of somebody's. Well, back. that was the thing that was noticeable. I'm sorry, Vlad, I'll let you in a no. second. But like uh-huh. Bam's box out numbers in game one were bigger than any of the game in the Bucks series. He outboxed out the entire Knicks right. uh as a team. So like that wasn't that wasn't something they were able to do, obviously, without having Randall there. It's a big thing. But go ahead, Vlad. It's and also the Kevin Love factor. Yep. The fact that they put Kevin Love on that's Mitchell been Robinson, they they pull in Mitchell out the paint because that's what he right. was doing in the first half. And, mm-hmm. you know, he doesn't have to score, but he gets offensive rebounds or second attempts. And what they did, they pulled Kevin, having Kevin Love outside, pull Mitchell outside. So Bam is the only big guy that's in the paint with no jewels. So well, I imagine they would switch him and, and maybe try to put Kevin Love and work Kevin Love to where he has to, to deal with John Randall. Because they're gonna try to. He doesn't have to know. He doesn't want to do. He doesn't. John Randall. Just, John Randall would be I mean, <laughs> John Randall still might manhandle him right now. Oh, he probably wants to handle Julius. <laughs> Julius Randall. Um, but yeah, so that that's kind of the, you know, what I'm gonna look for early right. is to see, you know, with Julius Randall, Bam, Kevin Love, how are they gonna go about? you know, devising some way to stop them while still being able to be aggressive on the other end. Yeah, and the other thing is, you know the Knicks, we're going to see, I'm sure they're going to get up a lot of threes tonight because that was a big storyline is about the shooting. So do you, if they if they have an on night or if they if they get that crowd rock, like can you take that first haymaker? Like this was a big question going into game five against the Bucks, as you knew, and the Heat came out aggressive. Like it wasn't, a, like they did not back down to that environment at all. And so nobody, you know what, Vlad, it's weird because you call it the Mecca and you say this is the greatest place in the world to play. But everybody treats that as a vacation on the island and they celebrating and they partying and they fans go there. It's like going to Vegas. Everybody loves going to Vegas. But that's not but that's not the home, the home court that you really want. It's a home court. If it was a home court against Cleveland team like Miami. For, you know, they doesn't fortified bother Jimmy. It's little fight. It's doesn't bother, bother Jimmy. It doesn't bother Kyle Lowry. Right. right. It, it's not going to bother Kevin Love. Him. Doesn't bother Kevin Bam. Love. Bam. Bam. Bam's. Uh, we'll see. You think it bothers Bam? Bam, was, Bam had 30 and 11 in Boston. It was like nothing. Not, not like, and, he, he, what, and then what happened in the next game? No, the best game wasn't good. It was a seven game series, dude. It was oh, a good. Like, remember, you think the atmosphere Bam affected is, him? Well, no, it's, he's just inconsistent. He isn't. Like, his offensive yeah. production has been inconsistent. I won't deny that. So if he's but playing, I think the thing that's. The thing that's going to be tough on the Knicks here, I don't really think that they have – like, Mitchell Robinson's good. I don't think he's, like – he's going to shake Bam like that. I just no, don't. which I, is why Randall, whatever capacity that he can play, is a factor because he's the only guy that in the Knicks that can actually get points inside and outside. Yeah. 
No, it's huge. It is. It is huge. But um, but also, you know, the, the they also he's. It's not like he had a, he had some clutch baskets at the at a, at a good time and, on yeah, runs. Right. But he didn't. He didn't really have a monster. He didn't. It's not yeah. like Bam got off in that last game. I think we we forget what kind of game he had because he had a couple of key shots. Yeah, late in the game. Yeah, that six spin move. Yeah. So, um, man, this is gonna. I, 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 it's gonna be interesting. Um, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with Jimmy. I think Jimmy's that's okay the other thing. That's because the because guess what? We have to Jimmy. Him. Jimmy is not that much smaller than Julius Randle. So if worse things worse comes to worse, guarded Giannis. Right. If worse comes Jesus, to Jesus worse, house. you can put, you know, Jimmy on one of these other guys. And, and but that's a. I, I want Jimmy to guard Julius because that would mean. Then I want Julius to guard Jimmy. No, then I then I do that. <laughs> that's, that's, hey, that's you just, know the way basketball works now, you can get the matchup you want. You can get the matchup. Everybody, okay. that's the thing. It's like we, 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 we talk about this. Ankles. We talk about this, and there are possessions where obviously a guy's going to take a guy, but like so much of this stuff, these guys, it's pick and roll, it's switching guys out. Right. Like you get the match. A lot of like, it, it, the heat, in fact, it got to the point where the Heat stopped doing it. They're like, zone it up, no more switching. Tired of seeing uh, Gabe Vincent in the middle of the back of somebody underneath the rim. Shams has just reported that I'm told Jimmy Butler wants to play. He's going to try to play, and the sprain wasn't as serious as we all saw. I told you that. I know, but he's Shams. I told you that. You can tell by him walking when he was walking back to the locker room that he was like – not hobbling that much. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact of the matter is, here's what sucks. When you get banged up like that, you don't want to go to sleep. Because you know, if you go to sleep, when you get up in the morning, it's going to hurt like hell. You just watch it. So, like, the whole night, you get up periodically. Here's what you do. This is how you get through it. Periodically, you get up in the course of the night. You move it. You work it. You do some exercises, you ice it, and you stem. And you do that throughout the night. Then when you get up the next day, you're not going to get much sleep the, the first 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Then you go through some. You go maybe walk around on it, which he did. Kept it moving. Kept, you know, kept using it to try to get every, get the blood flow. You go get some more treatment. Then you sleep on it after some exercise. You see how you feel tomorrow. Now it's game day. You get up. You go do some walkthrough, whatever. You get some treatment. You exercise. Then later on, you tape it. You try to go. And that's where you are. But the first 24 hours. So seeing Jimmy walking in New York is a is a good sign. I am, I am with you, though. Like, but I it, just re it just depends on how it responds after a day's activity the next morning because you can't keep doing it you have to give it some rest so if he got up this morning he felt pretty good they'll do some more treatment he'll do some exercises then before the game he'll go work out see how it is Dade south says that tobin is ham sharania <laughs> <laughs> or shams sharania <laughs> that's better <laughs> Uh, sure. So, so yeah, so even though, and, and look, I'm going to say this to all you jackasses out there, okay? Just because a guy is walking around and he looks fine, don't mean he could play professional sports on that. Hmm. So just because you see him moving good, same thing with Joel Embiid. LeBron. Oh, he was shooting. He looked good. Yeah, yeah, man, he ain't playing against, don't bring up, don't he bring played up against LeBron. air. Don't bring up LeBron. No, I'm he's saying, different. That's a different. I, but do you ever remember character. like the injuries that yes. he could get through? I mean, he's, it stopped now, obviously, because he's 37, he 38. He would literally roll his ankle. Like, he would roll his over. ankle to where the, 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 the bottom of his foot was pointing up at the sky. <laughs> I was like. And he'd was, shake it off and be back the next day. It was crazy. He'd be like Never seen next anything day, like it. Two minutes later, he never seen anything like it. Windmill I mean, <laughs> I it was, was a Clipper game. It was a game against the Clippers in L.A. He rolled his ankle bad. Badly. Then he hits a three, then he goes down the down the court, gets a steal, and does a dunk. But he's still limping, limping back to the bench. Yeah. And I'm like, you don't do that. It was crazy. Like once LeBron finally got to the Lakers and he had that groin injury, you're like, what? Right. Everybody was shocked. Like, what do you mean? He has Everybody a groin was injury? shocked. 
that's not supposed to happen. And then he had uh, Solomon Hill diving into his ankle. Yeah, it should be fine. He was actually here. He's like, oh, so it took till 37 to get to these. To get regular injuries. Yeah, crazy. But yeah, he was like, a, it's great. That's tonight too, uh, Lakers and Warriors. That'll be a fun one. Fifth time that they have uh, matched up. Is it 2-2? Two, two? No, it's 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Three, one. Yeah, three, but the... 3-1. Wait, wait, wait. has got the, uh, the famous I one. don't know why people fail to realize, like, we talking about coming back from 3-1. It happened twice that year. I know, but and the one team was involved with it twice. So remember, uh, was it OKC it was, was up three one? That's probably- on the Warriors. They come back and win, and then go three go up three one on Cleveland well, and lose. The thing that was crazy about that Warriors team is that was the record setting team. That was a seventy three win team. Like, that was the crazy thing. right. That's the only reason why you remember. That three one comeback was was, was so, that the, was I mean, that didn't Draymond get suspended too? Yeah, that was he when did. He, um, game five. You guys, see you guys see that? By the way, did you guys see Draymond yesterday saying that he lost respect for Sabonis for not shaking hands, Mister Sportsmanship? What? <laughs> Look, you step I, on a man's here, chest. You should give him a. Shot. Can I? Can I? Can I just say hand. this? That I don't ever have hard feelings for somebody being pissed off after they lose. Right. I don't view it as a mark of poor sportsmanship. I don't view it as any of that. I just view it as, man, you put so much into this and you come up short and you're frustrated and shaking hands don't do nothing for nobody. Mm -hmm. Right. Like some guys, you have people that you are familiar with or whatever. Right, but I never like win or lose. I never to shook me, hands after me, a game. Yeah, to me, it's a it's a bonus, right? It's like, hey, if you do it, it's nice. People get about right. this at fighting all the time, where like a guy is, is not classy after knocking somebody out. It's like, hey, that's Wait, a nice thing to do. I tell you that. I like, tell you that in the fight game too. If you just knock me out in in front of millions of people, I'm not going stand in the middle of the ring so you could get your hair raised. We know what happened. <laughs> Tobin, I have to agree with Leroy. Especially with UFC, if you knock me out with a kick, you kicked like I, it, listen, right. But my hands are but good. But would you rather like a guy? But you can't kick me to knock me out. True, but like it, it's more of a, a parallel when people lose. Like people get mad. Like people got mad at Ronda Rousey because she wasn't a good winner. And I would be like, yeah, but do you want somebody to be a fake? Like if like if somebody's like Tom Brady is a notorious sore loser. Always leaves after after. Uh, I don't see. I don't hold that hand. against anybody. Where is that coming from? It's been a thing. I, you know, it's, I know it's a thing, but but just think about this. You know One guy, he barely got, he's barely together because he just been concussed by a kick or something. Or let's not forget the guy that pounded him on the ground with the extra punches or whatever. Like, you think Jorge cared that that Ben Askrens didn't like, like I wouldn't care. Jorge, right, well, he I, told him he deserved the well, extra two piece. No, after, after, that means Ben Askren doesn't have to stand in the middle of the ring while you get your hand raised. Oh, because he hit him and then he played dead, and then he did the tap out afterwards. He counted him out, right? And then they was asked, uh, "Was that necessary?" Yes, he said <laughs> he yes. The famous so, quote is, so, "It was super necessary." So if I'm Ben Askren and I'm on the ground, I've been knocked out in five seconds. I mean, sorry, Jorge, if I don't. Oh, yeah, like the, like we saw it. Like Izzy. Like, like Izzy, Izzy, yeah. Would it have been nice if Izzy and him shook hands? Yeah, but he doesn't want to. No, he, in fact, what he wanted to do was show up a 12-year-old. That was the greatest point. Hey, I hey, it. again, I it. again. Hey, at a, at that was level. bad sportsmanship. But I got to tell you. Funny's funny. When they showed the kid, the kid did. <laughs> no, <laughs> the kid did that to him when he got yes, knocked out. right. So, yeah, guess what? Payback's coming. Right. It doesn't, that's a lesson. Hey. That's a lesson for you, youth. Hey, you want to talk trash? Hey, when the shoe's on the other foot, don't all of a sudden get sensitive. You got to eat it. That kid is a hole in mommy and crying because dad got a two-piece in the soda. And you said, <laughs> and then, wait, the explanation was the best. Mm. He said, yeah, his son did so. You know, after I knocked him out, I had to. <laughs> Go. What's up, buddy? What up, Bronco? Oh, is this uh, Richie and Borsad? That's it, bro. You think I'm hiding? I ain't hiding. Let me talk to these puppets. I'm already. You're already in the air, man. Hey, what's up? Yeah, much, <laughs> much like your Knicks, a slow start to the series, a slow start to this call. Oh, so you think I'm hiding from y'all? I mean, you didn't you come on I'm yesterday. I, I, it's it's nice to know you got a night of sleep. No, tried, you got a day of I sleep, and now you're all of a sudden you're here peacocking. 
I tried to call you puppets yesterday, and you wouldn't let me through because you sure. guys are hot. That's mm-hmm. why, because you hate Nick fans. Let me tell you something, bro. Mm-hmm. We got out coached. Okay, Duh. Thibodeau needs to wake up. <laughs> Second half, hey. your boy made adjustments, mm-hmm. and we didn't. This game, Randall like comes his- back. We kill you guys. Today. Wait a minute. Can I ask you something? Like, can I ask you, Richie? Richie? Can I ask you something? Who is this? Leroy. Leroy. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> a year ago, what you everybody want? was calling Randall a bum, and we got to get rid of him. Now, yeah, all of a sudden, he's, he's the reason why you go no win. No bum. Hey, what's Dude, good? you guys no, want to hey, no, 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 Y'all were rats right? off a okay, ship fine, on him fine, yesterday, fine. last year. And then what? Wait, so hey, like listen. the last six months, you weren't ripping Kyle Lowry? Yeah, no, well, he, listen, was. he was. Y'all weren't ripping Kyle Lowry? He was. He I, I'm not saying Kyle you. Yeah. Okay. Kyle Lowry's going to the Hall of Fame. All of a sudden, in three weeks now? Kyle Lowry's going to the Hall of Fame. Julius Randall ain't going to the Hall of Fame. Richie, don't take that from them. Don't listen to them. Why is he going to go on a diet? Not, hey, 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 Vlad, Vlad, I'm not worried about these D fans. They're running their mouths. They think they're good. We're running our mouths. Listen, let me tell you something, Richie. Let me tell you something, tell you something right now, dude. <laughs> I went easy yesterday because you want to know something Get about the playoff series? Get him, Joe. I'm actually Get him. aware of how they go. It's game one. I didn't even enjoy yesterday's show. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. First step. Task at hand, dude. Well, you guys are sitting. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now, Richie. You're so desperate on tonight. Win or loss, this is house money for the year. I, you're do you desperate see, for tonight, dude. If the Richie, where if you lose, you to, Richie, be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself right now. You lose tonight. You got a shot in the series. If you lose tonight, do you have a shot in the series? Yeah, be honest. Win the series in six games. If you lose tonight, you think you're winning four straight. We're going to win the series in six games, puppet. Get ready for me tomorrow morning. Listen, dude. All right, that's enough. Listen, See, right under your death. The, only guy, the only guy who is a puppet is you, dude. I've been playing you like Geppetto on this show the entire time that you've come on. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you something right now, dude. You need to go to your fairy godmother and wish that you were a real boy. Because let me tell you something. The truth is coming with Jim VP, dude. You are pray. I know you have a shrine in your house right now praying, hoping, please, Jimmy Butler, don't play. Please. It's okay, Richie. Bought, uh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you something, dude. I'm going to tell you, Richie. You get the best cold cuts to make yourself feel better about tonight. So get a get, get a big hoagie, whatever you got to drown your sorrows in, dude. Because you lose tonight, it's over, Richie. Wow. He ain't worried about hey. us, but he out here calling us out. That's right, Richie. Hey, hey, you Do came it. in you came into that conversation lukewarm. You say you want some of this old man? Yesterday no. he was so defeated and now I he has back up. Him. Where was I defeated? <laughs> no, you that? just you were just like Dude, you're in hold on. Your face. Hold I'm on. Wait, wait, wait. I've got this. Yesterday at about five to ten. We had to put out an APB because nobody knew where you were. Also, we was wondering if you was going to even show up. Listen, Wait, no, no, no. Dude. I don't hide like you guys. No, 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 no. no, no. I, I don't hide like you. Vlad, I was you were very Vlad. confident on Friday, and your response to this was, you tell him, Richie. <laughs> you tell him, Richie. <laughs> I've, I've heard you a lot more confident him, than Richie. that. I've heard I you a lot him, more Richie. confident than that. We not, listen, what did I say yesterday? Hmm? We lost game one. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Tonight's the most important game. It is. We're going to win. But what happens if you lose? We still, uh, well, we lose. 2-0 <laughs> will be difficult. 2-0 <laughs> will be difficult. Hey, what was that? 2-0 will be difficult. Wait, let me go. I gotta look at it. I, 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 I gotta look at it. Nice. There's five games and three will be left in Miami. So that, you know. He's it, gonna find someone to replace him. Never like that. Him. I don't run. Come on, man. You I don't think you don't run. I give you that credit. But you didn't seem like very, you know, like, I don't really want to back Richie. No, I'm gonna back Richie. I'm definitely going to back Richie. I just didn't like the fact he did call today. He should have called yesterday. All right, exactly. But he did call today. But well, I, he, I get it. Apparently he did, and you didn't put him through. I right. didn't put anybody through yesterday. That was all Tobin. That's what I do. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs>